the range is all the possible y values of a function. So we want to know all the possible y values for negative x squared plus 60x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this function in my graphing calculator. So let's go to y equals. And then I'm just going to type in my function. So we're going to do negative x squared plus 60x. Okay, so that looks good. And now we're going to click graph. And so first things first, we can't really see this graph. So I'm going to zoom out just a couple times until we can kind of see what's going on. So let's do zoom and then I'm going to press three for zoom out and then enter. All right. And we still can't really see. Let's do that again. Zoom three enter. Let's do it one more time. Zoom three enter. Uh, maybe one more time. So zoom three enter. Okay. So this parabola obviously on the graph looks very, very skinny, but we can tell that basically we have this kind of shape going on. All right. Which makes sense because the first term has a negative in front of it. So that tells us that the parabola is opening down. So if we want to know what all the possible y values are, well, we need to know what this upper limit is. Okay, we know that our graph is going to extend downward forever, but we need to know what that maximum uh, y value is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my table. So to do that, I do second graph. And now I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down until I see what looks to be the maximum y value for the function. So I see that whenever X is equal to 30, Y is equal to 900. Okay. And after that point, it starts going back down. See that it goes back to 899, 896. All right. So our maximum Y value is 900. Okay. So what that tells me is that our range is going to be Y is less than or equal to 900. Now, another way of writing that would be all real numbers less than or equal to 